couple things I want to point out really quick before we dive in and get to other questions is um, the market is shifting. Now, look, anybody could say that any day and they'd be right because the real estate market's always on the move. It's either up or down. It could be fractions of a point. It could be bigger points. It could be dollar amounts that are would blow your mind or dollar amounts that you barely notice. But the market as a whole really is just a collection of a bunch of small things, a collection of individual homes being sold, mortgage rates, real estate agents. Um, but I want to talk about some bigger real estate information that's been in the news lately. If you have heard of the company Open Door, Open Door was in the news uh, this week for what I believe to be good news for the consumer, but bad news for Open Door. Now, let me be very clear. We've talked about Open Door a lot over the years on the show. They've they've advertised on many of the same radio stations that I've advertised on or, or our show has been on. Um, and I have said countless times um, that they uh, are probably not doing something officially illegal, but they are definitely doing something misleading. And I've been very clear about that. Well, um, they were recently fined tens of millions of dollars for deliberately misleading the consumer um, in several different ways. Uh, you know, there's articles all over the, the internet, all over the paper that you can check out. But basically, uh, Open Door has been ordered to pay over $60 million in fines uh, due to uh, willfully misleading the consumer in the areas of um, telling them that they could make more money by selling to Open Door, which pretty much everybody knew logically was not the case, and by misleading people with offers at a higher price than they ever intended to pay and that they almost ever did pay. So they would make a high price, high, higher priced offer, not high, but higher than they were intending to pay. And then based on fees and inspections, they would systematically beat that price way, way down and always pay less. And by that point, the seller felt like they were so far down the rabbit hole so far into the transaction, so committed, so beat down by paperwork and timetables and all these things that they would just stick with the deal and close it out. Now, look, I'm not the one most likely to defend open door or massive venture capital backed technology funds who intend to disrupt in industries without any real value. I'm not usually going to defend them, but I will say this on this show. We also say all the time that you as the consumer, you have got to be informed. Now, we believe in the advocacy and representation of world-class real estate agents that can protect you from mistakes like that, but I'm not upset with anybody, but buyers and sellers, you have got to take responsibility for such a big financial decision, and you can't allow yourself to be taken advantage of by a big venture capital-backed technology company that doesn't have any real genuine offered value to offer you. Now, Look, again, I'm not saying that open doors are horrible people. I think they made a mistake. I think they probably kind of started small and got carried away and felt like it was working and went a little too far. But ultimately, it was clear that selling your house to a website online, sight unseen, without having to prepare anything was not going to get you maximum value. And it became very clear very early on that what a lot of these internet buyers do is they make you an offer that looks attractive enough and then between then and closing, they beat that price down. That's what investors do. That's what wholesalers do. That's what these big I buyer internet buyers are. They're wholesalers. They buy it and turn around and sell it. That's literally what wholesaling is. So all that to say, that's in the news lately, but what does it mean for Dallas-Fort Worth area homeowners and want to be homeowners? Well, what it means is that very little has changed except for People now know that you need to be even more cautious than maybe you knew to be before. Now, I've been trying to protect you, our listeners and friends and neighbors and clients for a long, long time, telling you to be weary of these things. But hopefully now more and more people will actually follow that advice or come to that conclusion on their own and be more careful listening to a simple headline, of, you know, don't go through the hassle of dealing with an agent. Don't go through the hassle of having to show your home. Sell it to us whenever you want, however you want. Um, it just doesn't typically work that way. If you have a local advocate that lives in your community, that works in your community, that serves people, that has a track record and reviews and cares about people uh, and has an established track record of doing that, you have a lot higher likelihood of getting maximum value and minimal time with less stress and, and still contributing to the community. 
Now, let me let me give one little caveat there. If you do want to sell your home immediately without showing it and without all the drama and for the best price possible, knowing that you'll get less than if you sold in a more traditional route, my, our team, the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, and many of our clients would be glad to make you a cash offer to close whenever you want without you having to do anything to the home. But just be very clear, that offer will be for less money than if we were to market that home for you to the general public and find an ideal buyer that really, really, really wants your home, period. But if you want a cash offer for your home, we will do that for you here at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. Either we'll do it ourselves or one of our clients will do that for you. We just want to be very clear that will be an investor offer. That will, that will not net you the most money, but it might be the most convenient. It might be the best thing for you, but it rarely is. But sometimes it can be. So anyway, reach out to us, toddtremontiteam.com or 214-310-0008. 214-310-0008 or online at toddtremontiteam.com. Now that, that website and that phone number will work for you if you want to sell your home over the average price and under the average time. We guarantee to do that for you. We're currently selling homes for about 11% more than similar homes by your neighbors sold. And, and we're selling them about 30% faster, uh, which in the current market is about five or six days faster in most areas of DFW. Now, um, we're also here to help you if you're thinking about buying a home. Now's the best time to buy a house in almost two years. I know for a lot of people that sounds crazy. If that does sound crazy to us, uh, to you, give us a call and we'll explain why now is for most people the best time to buy a house in the last two years. You can call or text 214-310-0008 or you can go online to overunderagent.com. That's overunderagent.com or you can go to toddtremontiteam.com or you can Google Todd Tremonti. We are easy to find folks, but we are happy to help no matter how you reach out to us. So 214-310-0008 and we can help you buy, sell, invest, 